Hello everyone, this is one Astro Kid one here to talk to you about derivatives part one, so let's get started. Here is an overview of what we'll be talking about today. First, what are derivatives? Second, the notation. And finally, the seven types of derivatives. So what are derivatives? A derivative gives the slope of the tangent line at any given point. The tangent line is a line that touches the given point once. Derivatives give important information with position, velocity, and acceleration. Here is the notation for derivatives. If you have d dx f of x, which equals f prime of x, we use a slash for each derivative or a d dx, depending on which notation that you need to use. For the second derivative, we have d squared over dx squared f of x, which equals f with two slashes of x, or f double prime of x. And for the third derivative, we have d3 over dx cubed f of x, which equals f triple prime of x. And then from then on, you use Roman numerals in parentheses for the derivatives. Here are the seven types of derivatives. First is the power rule. Second is the product rule. Third is the quotient rule. Four is the chain rule. Five is exponential functions. Six is trigonometric functions. And seven is inverse trigonometric functions. So first with the power rule. Here is what the power rule looks like. You have d dx ax to the n equals nax to the n minus 1. So here we have the derivative of a is a coefficient, x is fine x, and n is an exponent. So here is an example. So what is the derivative of x squared? So first we write the coefficient, which is a 1. Then we bring it down, and so we have 2 times 1 to the x, and 2 minus 1. And so we get the derivative of x squared is 2x. Now for the product rule. Let f of x equal u, and g of x equal v. So here's what the product rule looks like. So if you have the derivative of u times v equals uv prime plus u prime v. So for example, if f of x equals x squared, g of x equals 5x, and h of x equals f of x times g of x, what is h prime of x? So if we plug in using the product rule, we have h of x, the derivative of h of x equals 2x times 5x plus x squared times 5, using the power rule in each case. And so then, you simplify and you get h prime of x equals 15x squared. But there is also a shortcut that you can use. And so you take the derivative of x squared times 5x, you multiply them together so you get 5x cubed. Using the power rule, you get 15x squared as well. 3 times 5 to the x, 3 minus 1 is 2, so we get 15x squared. Now. For the quotient rule, let f of x equal u and g of x equal v. So here is what it looks like. So we have the derivative of u over v equals u prime v minus u v prime over v squared. So for example, if f of x equals x squared and g of x equals 5x and h of x equals f of x over g of x, what is h prime of x? So we plug it in, so we have the two derivatives, so we have the derivative of x squared is 2x times g of x, which is 5x, minus x squared times the derivative of g of x, which is 5, over 5x squared. So you get the answer, once you simplify it, you get 10x squared minus 5x squared over 25x squared, and you get 1 fourth, and all the x is cancel. Now for the chain rule. We'll have f of x equals a g of x to the n. So a is just a coefficient. g of x is a function. 
and n is an exponent. So here is what we do. We take the derivative of f of x equals n a to the g of x to the n minus 1 times g prime of x. So here we have the power rule in play with g of x still the same and here we multiply it by the derivative of the inside which is called the chain. So if we have an example here of the derivative of 2 times 4x cubed plus 6x squared minus 5x plus 1 to the fifth you will get the answer by applying the chain rule. You have 5 times 2 times the inside times the derivative of the inside, which is 3 times 4x squared plus 2 times 6 to the x, 6x minus 5 is our answer. Now for exponential functions. So if we have the derivative of e to the f of x, equals e to f of x times f prime of x times the ln of e. For example, if we have e to the 2x, then we just multiply it by the chain, which is 2, so we get 2e to the 2x as our answer. Now if we take the derivative of a n, which is a number, to the f of x, that equals n to the f of x times f prime of x, which is the chain, times the ln of that number. So if we have the derivative of 2 to the x, that equals 2 to the x times ln of 2. Now for the derivative of the ln of f of x, it equals 1 over f of x times f prime of x. For example, if we have the derivative of ln 3x minus 4, then the answer will be 1 over 3x minus 4 times 3, and so your answer will be 3 over 3x minus 4. Now trigonometric functions. So we have the derivative of sine is cosine, the derivative of cosine is negative sine, the derivative of tangent is secant squared, the derivative of secant is secant tangent, the derivative of cosecant is negative cosecant cotangent, and the derivative of cotangent is negative cosecant squared. For example, if we have the derivative of the sine of 5x, that equals cosine x times 5, or 5 cosine x is our answer. Now, for another example here, if we have the derivative of cosine squared, x cubed minus 2, that equals negative 2 cosine x cubed minus 2 sine x cubed minus 2 times 3x squared. As you can notice here, by taking the derivative, first we have the power rule, moving the 2 down, and it's a negative because we have a negative sine, because the derivative of cosine is negative sine, so we have a negative 2 in front times the inside stays the same, sine, which is the derivative, with the inside still the same, times the chain, which is the, ins the derivative of the inside, which is 3x squared. And that is our final answer. And now for the inverse trigonometric functions. We have the inverse sine is 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. The inverse cosine is negative 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared. The derivative of the inverse tangent is 1 over x squared plus 1. The derivative of inverse cosecant is negative 1 over x to the square root of x squared minus 1. The derivative of inverse secant is 1 over x to the square root of x squared minus 1. And the derivative of inverse cotangent is negative 1 over x squared plus 1. As you can notice, that the sine and cosine are the same except for a negative sign. We have tangent and cotangent the same except for a negative sign. And secant and cosecant are the same except for a negative sign. You should notice that if the trigonometric function starts with a C, 
the derivative will be negative. So if we have the derivative of the inverse sine of 2x, so we have, we plug it in, we get 1 over 1 plus 2x squared times the chain of the inside of the sine x, inverse sine x. So we get, multiply it by 2, and so we get the answer of 2 over square root of 1 minus 4x squared. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to check out next week when we talk about more on derivatives, what you can do with them, and other ways that they can be found. So thank you again for watching, and this is 1 asterisk 1, out. And remember that science never sucks.